Good afternoon, everybody. It is Deb. It is Sunday, June 2nd. <laughs> and I am here with my cup of tea. I have a little milk in my tea this morning. 2% milk. Uh, I was up till after, like, almost 1.30 last night. I think it was 1.30 because the auction on Tina's Crafty Life channel to benefit Andrea Stever to help her with medical expenses went until like 1.15ish around then and then of course I had to you know get cleaned up and ready for bed and everything and oh my gosh yeah <laughs> conk out time but it, it has kind of thrown me for a loop because you know I'm a morning-ish person Actually, lately, I'm more of a middle-of-the-day person, but I feel like my day is wasted if I'm not up by, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, I did get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, and I went back to sleep. <laughs> so, yes. Anyway, that's not what I'm here about. I'm here to do a combined mini haul. Well, it's like one, two, three, four, five places. Um... And I just, and some of them are like one item. So let me just get started. I got two things off Etsy recently. This store was called, I think this is what it was called, Aratzarina? Aratzarina? Anyway, I got one thing and it was this Tombow glue holder. Isn't this cool? Your glue just goes upside down in it. And I've been storing it in the box, but then it always leans or falls over. I saw these people were gifting to each other at on stage and I wasn't at on stage but I saw it in the videos I'm like that is so cool so I went searching and there I got a turquoise one because I love turquoise as most of you know and also one of the other things I bought off Etsy and it was a different shop and I can't remember the name of it right now but I got myself this, it's like an 8x8 eight eight inch square glue gun holder and it holds your glue sticks. Um, I can tell you, no I can't. I will get the name of uh, the link of the Etsy shop and put that down below. I am so happy with this and it was fast shipping and it came in a box stuffed with reusable like that craft shipping paper, a little bit of plastic bubble wrap over you know like this and parts of the and the tile was wrapped up so this is like a ceramic tile glued on handmade turquoise it looks more blue there but it is definitely turquoise why is my lighting so off oh, there you can tell it's more turquoise right so anyway maybe i need to put this down low so you can see the colors better anyway i need a better light so I have that over to my right and I like the small footprint of it. Some of them are much bigger and longer, but I have drawers in front of where that is and I can't have that. So this is perfect and it sits to my right and my little itty bitty glue gun fits on there just right. So I got those off Etsy and I that was a different shop than the, the Tombow glue holder thing and I will put links to both. And then... I forget whose video I was watching and she said they were talking about Punchinello. I'm like, what the heck is Punchinello? Well, what it is, is the leftovers from when they make sequins that you can use as stencils. So again, I thought this was so cool. And this particular shop has it in different colors, like purple and blue and... Um, black and gold and you get 3.7 meters of it for well with shipping it was like 11 almost 12 dollars so anyway it was a little little on the pricey side i thought but i thought how cool is that and i'm sure you can reuse it because it's like sequin material like that metallic plasticky stuff so i bought some punchinella because i just wanted it and that actually came from a vendor called Vintage Art Supplies, all one word, vintageartsupplies.etsy.com. There are other ones, um, other shops that sell them, I think. But And they also just have plain black and stuff. So anyway, I got that. I may share some of that because I don't do that much stenciling. I just thought it was really cool for mixed media. So um yeah so that's i got that 
And then I bought, um, this is so bad. I've been doing this lately. I bought jewelry off um, Denise Michelle Snyder Woods, I think is her YouTube. Anyway, it's Denise, but it's spelled D-E-N-N-I-E-S. And she has a YouTube channel, but she hasn't really been making in many videos. But um, so I got, it's paparazzi jewelry, $5 a set. And I got a couple things. Um, but, and she sent me this, she sent it wrapped in bubble wrap and tissue paper, then in bubble wrap and inside this extra, like a piece of bag. So I saved this and then in like a butterfly bag, but she gave me two extras cause Denise crochets and I can't crochet. Don't even want to try it anymore, but look at this flower inside this. This is beautiful. And this as well. Now I still have a couple pieces um for for i think kathy got my vintage um uh, my vintage my shabby chic um altered jar last night one of the the flower that's on the top that was one from denise so i just thought i'd let you know that so anyway thank you denise for the extras really appreciate that so those are from the small shops and then this came in uh, a little bit ago, but I had gotten a Peachy Cheap collection. Yes, bad me. It's Bow Bunny. I love Bow Bunny. Um, and it's called mm, Celebrating Freedom. This is a 6 by 8 inch pad. And um, I just thought it was really nice for, it would have been nice for Memorial Day, but I didn't, I didn't get it to use in time. I didn't open it in time. Look at the ladybug. That's so cute. The stars. Then there was watermelon on one of the sheets. That's really pretty. Patriotic colors, red, white, and blue. There's the watermelon. So it has some repeat. Um, it says it's a 2018, so it's not that old. 36 pages of Celebrating Freedom collection. And then it came with uh, these cardstock stickers. Really cute. This one's a little bent, but I might have done that. So you've got some squares with like fireworks behind these border strips, the bicycle here with uh, little sparklers and fireworks in the back. Celebrate. I'm going to be using this um, probably towards the end of the month. I've decided when I get these things that I'm going to use them because I have probably like 25 or 30 other collections that I got from before Stampin' Up! and um, I'm going to make it a point to try and use some of them up. So you will be seeing them in addition to my Stampin' Up! stuff and for those of you that don't like that, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to just sell or give away everything I have. Um, so anyway, so yes, this ephemera pack, I'm sorry, I'm bopping it around here. This is everything you get in it. The light is glaring there. But okay, maybe that's a little better. I don't know. So it's got butterflies, the bicycle, pie, popsicles, these little flags. Not crazy about that bug. Ladybugs are cute. I don't know about big beetles. Big beetles. Here's a little ladybug. Butterflies, flowers, ice cream, little rocket, let freedom ring, 4th of July, some flowers and stuff. And then these um, Bow Bunny 8-piece stars in red, blue, and gold. Um, and there it's all the whole collection and I think this whole thing I think was $11.99 for all of it plus shipping which but anyway I figured the price was as good as if I went to like Tuesday morning and then you can't always find everything to coordinate so for that I do like peachy cheap to get their whole collections when they have good ones you know like this the bow bunny one so I got that okay then I went to Dollar Tree um, specifically looking for a couple things. I got 15 word search books, which I don't have here because I took them to my mom already. For my mother, um, she goes through them. That's what she does in her room when she's not doing activities in the other rooms they have or at lunch or breakfast or sleeping. Um, she does word search books and that, honestly, guys, that helps keep her mind better. Um, She's, you know, 90 and a half, almost, she'll be 91 at the end of September, and her mind is slipping a little bit, but it's still, for that age, she's, I don't know, if I make it to that age, 
if my mind will be anywhere near. I think I'm going to take after my dad instead. So anyway, I went looking for those. I got her some, oh, I got her a little pack of uh, pens because she's always saying her pens don't work right. Then I also went looking for flamingo stuff. And what started me on that journey was, you know, I'm using this um, Paradise Crush. And if you watched my um, end of month, same paper, new project with Paige, and I'm using this. This has flamingos in it. I had the fussy cut. I don't know if I have another one of those. I think I now have used all the flamingo paper. Anyway, oh no, I have one more. But it's really hard to fussy cut it because it's got these little sprays and flowers and stuff. But I did. I have been. But I didn't want to do that for everything. Anyway, I didn't go for these originally. I went for these, which I had seen Maria's miscellany um, use as die cuts. And I thought, wow, you know, she's really smart because you get all these flamingos and palm trees in like pink and orange and then the palm trees for a dollar. They're basically die cuts and they're double sided and you just have to be real careful because um, when you pull them off the string, it, they're on there with tape, so like cello tape. You just have to be really careful because some of them will tear the paper under it. So just go really slow and this one it's hot up here, it's leaving a little residue. But then you also have this string you can use for whatever you want to use it for. Um, I think these would be great for decorating the fronts of journals. See, they're double-sided. Or you could use them like for their intended purpose. But um, Or composition books. Um, I used it on my... I used one of them, one or two of them on my loaded bag I had done for my video. So you probably already saw that. And then I also got the toucan bird and the flowers now the flowers really are sorry for the crinkling are pretty big but you know what you could cut these down and they're already double-sided or punch them or whatever you want to do the birds are really cute i love this flower so yeah i have enough die cuts in here to last me many summers to come and i'll probably be sharing like a strand of each in giveaway packages or something Okay, so then um, I was walking around the store and up front towards the cash register, they had these key covers. Aren't these cute? So one of these is going to be for me and one of these is going to get attached to my loaded bag. But you slip your key in there and then it has the keychain on it, which I can add uh, extra little dangles to or something. So I thought those were adorable. They also had them in other patterns. I can't remember what the patterns were um oh i think it was like a mermaid tail was one of them yeah really cute i almost bought or like two or three of them but i thought no i'm gonna rein it in a gift one and i'll keep one for me because i just think they're cute so then also up in that area they had these which i actually coordinate with the um the string things now the string things when you first walked in the door they have like their um, holiday and summer stuff they were with the summer stuff but these were up near where they have like um i don't know it's like a little square at the cash register area before you right before you get to the cash register they always have some stuff there and these are cute stickers and they have puppies which i don't think i used any of and then they have glitter ones which i did use some of already and then they have foil with silver around them and then they just have glossy, which I used a couple of. So really cute summertime stickers. I'm not, I'm trying not to buy too many stickers, but I had to get them. Then I thought this would go with the Bow Bunny collection too. So I got these. Um, look at this, and this really, I love this old car. It's dimensional. It's one of those, it's a layer sticker. Really cool. I don't know if that's a Studebaker or what it looks like to me. And then it's got words in it, which I like. And um, and then just alphas in the red na uh, navy and the almost looks like wood, you know, washed wood grain um, in the blue turquoisey kind of color. So I like that. And then 
you know, you get three sheets for a dollar, so that's pretty good. And then Happy Birthday I got because I just thought it was cute. They had a few other ones, but these were the ones I liked the best. I can't remember what the other ones were. So that's it for the stickers. And then, oh no it isn't, I'm sorry. I found one each of these. I think they had another one of this, but there were no more of these. I thought these bottles were really cool and they have texture to them and they're stickers. So this one says fresh. This has like a um, basket weave on it. This has more like the chain link fence on it. This is like the herringbone. This, these say fresh like water bottles or something, but they have like the fake metal closure that goes down kind of thing. Um, so I thought those were really cool. And then these look like your pop bottles, your soda bottles or whatever in different colors. And they're sort of semi-translucent. And I just think they're really pretty. So I think they would make cool like vases on a card or something. All, both of them really. So really cool stickers. Couldn't resist. And you know, it's really bad because I was going through my stickers the other day looking for stuff which I didn't have much of, which is why, not, why I went to Dollar Tree. My only summer stickers I have left, other than butterflies, were these, and they didn't really go with my theme. These are more summer, summer, not flamingo and whatever. Anyway, I got these for my Stampin' Up! catalog book because, you know, I had printed the PDF off before we got our, our catalog and I want to divide it into sections and yes I can use paper to do it you know designer paper and I may still but um, I got two packs of these if I don't use them for that I will use them for something else like budget books and stuff and let's see oh 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 they're back they're back and they're back <laughs> love them they have the colorful and the black and brown jar you know like the neutral jar but i didn't get that because i still have a full jar of that oh that's a really cool one and i picked out the ones that i thought had the coolest looking buttons or the prettiest colors one of them is going to be for me because my jars down about here and i love buttons yes i do i have an obsession with buttons mm -hmm, yeah and two of them are going in my giveaway stuff for my over 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Stay tuned for that video, hopefully later today. Okay, okay, so I got those. And then I really don't need paper straws, but they had holographic silver. There's only 14 straws in here for a dollar, but I thought, uh, all right. Because this the metallic ones in other places and really, I don't need more than 14. <laughs> you know, I don't need a pack of 28. I probably end up sharing some of these even. But um, yeah, so holographic, iridescent, like color changing, and then gold. And um, these were, I think, up front in with the summertime stuff too, or the 4th of July. I can't remember. And the last thing I got at Dollar Tree. Now, it can, can you tell I haven't been to Dollar Tree for a while? The last thing I got was two of these LED tea light candles. They had really little ones, but I have um, I have a purpose for these in mind, which I'll keep to myself right now because I don't know if it'll work. So that was my Dollar Tree haul. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did. It was fun. And then the last thing I got is actually for my Dia Designs jewelry business, which I am going to try and resurrect and get moving again. Um, this is from Beadbox Bargains, which is the sister company to um, Bargain Beadbox, the subscription box that I used to get and don't anymore. Well, they were having a sale um, May 27th, which I think was Memorial Day. I think it was 35% off. I forgot to bring it. Let me just check something real quick. Uh, calculator like everything everything was a percentage off even if it was on sale already um i just want to check something no nope. maybe it was 25 or maybe it was i don't know um all right let me do it this way <laughs> 
a 20 20 percent off sale roughly everything in their store so i thought that's pretty good i used to get better at coupons when i was a um subscriber to this to the box but okay let me get everything out and i'll just show you and i almost put something back and i thought you know what no because i'll never be able to get them for that price anywhere else i got a lot of like findings and stuff but the first thing i got was eight by six millimeter crystal rondell beads in peach sorbet and i got two packs of these for 99 cents each you get 24 beads and sorry for my nails too guys i'm kind of a mess this morning and they look like these they're very they're faceted they're very sparkly and i thought doesn't that it's called peach sorbet doesn't that just look like a like a creamsicle oh my gosh love creamsicles anyway i got two of those um uh, partly because i decided to join in while we're chit-chatting some um swaps and i'll get uh, let me get to that when we're done this all right i'm going out of order these are a 15 inch strand of 10 millimeter electroplated lava rock round beads in blue iris i love blue iris and i have some check glass beads and seed beads in that color so i'm thinking necklace and bracelet and earrings out of this and those check glass beads at some point love it now lava rock obviously has holes because it's made from the cooled down lava and it's supposed to have healing properties but i don't i haven't read up on lava rock and all that but i know i was at a um when i was selling jewelry at a craft fair one time a lady came up to me and said do you have any lava rock and i had some black but i didn't have any colors and i just had like one or two pieces she said oh well we do this healing property stuff and we got talking about it but i don't i used to follow more of that and i don't so much anymore okay this guys is pink opal um i happen to love the pink opal now let me see okay this one is a 15 inch strand these were 50 percent off and then i got 20 percent off of that i only got one of each 50 percent strand these are called hishi beads h-e-i-s-h-e -E, and they are um, natural stone these do feel like they've been treated because they're really smooth but they do have the discoloration of regular uh, stones and they are cool to the touch so i'm pretty sure they are genuine um, pink opal round heishi beads eight by three millimeters so they're eight in diameter and three approximately um, depth you know height depth whatever and then these are the same except these are um, six by three and these were 10.99 at 50 percent off because the pink opal is expensive um, it is expensive and these look like decent quality I, i'm kind of actually pretty surprised at the quality um you know with gemstones they usually grade them a b c d whatever grade um you want to try and get a is obviously the best b is pretty standard in the b grades for um you know, I mean a grade is usually what ends up in you know real jewelers um jewelry making a or triple a but b is okay for beading when you start getting down into c and f they're like misshapen the holes aren't drilled right and stuff here's one chipped one but um you yeah, have really nice feel like good quality um i think they have been um coated with something though which is probably typical um in the industry but i i have to read the website if they still have them out there and see if it says because sometimes they'll say may have been colored or coated or whatever they don't look like they've been colored they do feel like they've been coated okay so that's the gemstones that i got and the glass beads and all the rest of this is findings and stuff so let's see i got twisted knot links that's these these are 10 millimeter twisted knot links in antique gold 
and you get 10 pieces. They're very lightweight. Um, yeah, I think it said they were a metal alloy, but uh, they're really lightweight. They almost feel like um, coated plastic, honestly. I don't know. I'm not sure. They're cool to the touch. They, they may be metal, but they're very lightweight. I just like the design on them. So you get 10 of those. I thought they'd be nice for earrings. And the fact that they're lightweight may be okay for earrings. Um, Dragonfly Charms is the next thing. And I got two packs of these because I like me some dragonflies. They're six pieces in a pack. 19 by 21. Antique silver color. And they are double sided, which is probably why I liked them a lot too. Because, you know, if they're dangling on something, you want them to be double sided. Sorry for the glare. So, anyway, I thought those were cute. Um, good, those are heavier. They're good quality. You can feel it. Um, so, I got two packs of those, and those were 99 cents a pack. And then. I actually got these, um, they're calling them poinsettia charms. I may already even have these. They're in antique brass finish. Um, this was 10 pieces for 89 cents. Now, all these prices I'm quoting, these are also uh, are before my 20% off discount. Um, they're like elevated on the one side and then indented on the other side. So they're really cute. So even if you would do earrings with them, they're finished on the other side. I just think that's cute, even for a charm bracelet too, you know, then you have a design on, oops, on both sides. And those you got 10 pieces of. So they'll be nice um, for the holidays time. And then I got some keys. They had other ones too, but these are the only ones I got. This is five piece key pendant in antique silver tone. They were 89 cents for five, and they're really nice. These are really nice keys. I should have got two of these. Really nice. They're kind of lightweight too. No, they have a little bit of weight to them. So they're not super heavy and they're not super duper long, but nice big hole here that you can dangle charms, um, like um, bead dangles off of to give it some color at the top. Um, a little heart or something would be a good idea, I think. Yeah. Okay, then I got these bell charms. Antique silver finish. These were 99 cents for four. They're a little bigger and a little intricate. Um, oops. And they do have, actually, supposedly, yes, the little clapper moves. It doesn't make noise, but it does wiggle, and it's got a little bow on the front. I'm trying to, my light, hang on. Oh, my light's not even, let's try it that way. Oh, come on. Anyway, little bells with a clapper in them. So I got two packs of those, and what did I say they were? 99 cents for four bells, but they are nice weight to them. So, yeah. And then, oh, no, wait. I did something. Okay, these were called key pendants. So these are more for a necklace. Then they also had key charms. So I did get another one. These are 10 pieces, 21 millimeter key charms. These are much smaller and lighter weight. They're cute, they're double-sided as well. Look how cute they are. <laughs> Those are so cute. So they'll be nice on like purse charms or earrings or necklaces, add them to the other charms. I don't know, we'll figure out something. I like to use them around Valentine's Day, like the key to my heart kind of thing. All right, we already did the opal and the lava rock. Then comes these. These are called, uh, these were one piece for 59 cents, and I got four of them because I thought they'd kind of make cute earrings too. These are called 
fly reversible rectangle pendant in antique silver. So on one side you have the dragonfly and on the other side you have the word fly which you're not going to be able to see because it's right across here. So really cute. Um, these must have been in a kit because they have the number five on. Probably one I didn't get because I stopped my kit. But I got, um, they were 59 cents a piece, which isn't bad. So those are cute. And then I got some chain. I got steel curb chain in three by two. You get a meter of each of the chain. Now, I don't know. Both of them are antique silver. They're both curb chain. One says three by two and one says... 3.4 millimeter. Let me open the other one and see which, if I can tell. They're both 99 cents each also. They're different numbers. I think this is the 3 by 2 one. See the link? It's, it's small, but it's big enough to get a jump ring through. This is not, this is a kind of, they're both kind of sort of fine chain, but I do like this chain. Um, they're not super fine. This one is really pretty. It has more sparkle to it. It almost looks like a Rolo chain as opposed to a curb chain. I don't know if you're able to see it. The way the links are done like this one is what I think of normally as curb chain. It's just a smooth um, chain. This one, they kind of go in opposite directions like a Rolo. This one's really beautiful. I wish I knew which one this was. I think this is the one they're calling 3.4 millimeter steel curb chain. Not sure. Um, and that was also, well, one of them was in a kit as well. And then the last thing I got, um, one second, and where are these at? Okay, here. These are rose gold finish, four leaf clover pendants, they're calling them, but they're small, they're 10 by six, and you get 10 pieces for 79 cents. I just thought these were really cute. And they have a little hole at the top to hang them down, four leaf clovers. So those are cute. So that is everything, and including shipper shipping, I spent 34.60 on all of that. So not bad. That was with the 20% off everything discount and $3.75 shipping in the United States. And then they gave a free um, thank you gift, which is, looks like Chinese crystal. Hmm, I'm not sure it is. I was going to say bicones, but it looks more like um, little faceted rondelles, which are really pretty in pink. So really cute. And it looks white there, but it's it's a pale pink, which I don't want to open because it's on this little card. So that's my haul, guys. Sorry it's such a long video. Not too bad for all those different hauls. Um, I hope you have a great Sunday. And now my plans for today, if I've been planning, are to do this. I have to get my 2K giveaway stuff together, and I hope to come back with that. And then I also, actually that might be later in the day, like this evening, and I do want to come back with um, some Stampin' Up, a Stampin' Up video, one video today, real quick on that. All right, so I will see you soon. I hope you enjoyed my, my goodies, and uh, I'll talk to you as soon as I can. Hugs, love, and peace.